G'day and welcome to another awesome day. I have an exciting update for you today. We've got the roof of our house going on. We've got the sarking going around the walls. I'm also going to give you a bit of a brief update on what happened with our plants. I couldn't believe that half our orchard got uh, wiped out. So I'll tell you about that. And I'll also show you what we've done at the front of our block as well. So let's talk about the roof first. Our house is really coming along. I was out here last week and they had started to put the fascia up and they've also put the guttering up. After that, they've actually put the roof sheeting on and it all looks quite nice. Over the weekend, there was a bit of rain that happened so I took the opportunity to come in here and check out to make sure there was no roof leaks from anything um, before the roof uh, is finished off. All the internal framework has been completed but yesterday the plumber was out here to install the battens where the um, basins and taps and that would go so you can see that there's some there and there's a little tap down there for where the toilet connection will be. We've got our bathtub delivered as well as the windows for the house as well so they should be installed hopefully this week sometime as well. Yesterday I went around and had a look at all the nails and screws and stuff on the ground. There's so much of it and even outside after the roofing was complete the uh, roofing screws have fallen out onto the ground. So I went yesterday and picked them up and I've got a huge bag full now so hopefully that'll keep us going for and the next few projects that we have coming up for our homestead including the chook pan and other structures as well. Oh look there's two more down here, three more, it's just everywhere. So yesterday when the plumber was out here he also started to work on the waste pipe for this toilet and moving it. So he started to cut into the concrete there you can see and he'll be back out on Monday I think he said so he can finish jackhammering this up and then moving that waste pipe across. So I'll be interested to see how all that works out. So you remember these plants here from only a week or so ago where I did the last update. These plants were looking absolutely awesome. Now have a look at them. You can see that something has attacked them. And there's pretty much nothing left of this one here. And the other one over here is not much better. And I was thinking, what's going on here? Until I noticed this. And I'm like, what has pooped here? Well, I'll tell you what pooped there. It was a big caterpillar, one that actually hops. Kangaroos have come and attacked these to plants. They also started on these other ones as well, but I decided to put up some screening around them. So I'm gonna finish this off today and actually make it um, proper so it's not gonna fall over or fall away. So that's disappointing, but I'm sure they'll be bouncing back in the near future. So a bit of story time for you now, which leads up to my next point. We were around three weeks ago and one of the carpenters was telling me that he had arrived around six o'clock in the morning. And six o'clock in the morning in Brisbane at the moment in Queensland, Australia is roughly, I don't know, sun's just coming up. So maybe 15, 20 minutes before that, the sun would have come up. So it's really early anyway. And he was out here at six so they could start working. And I said, okay, fair enough. And he told me that someone had been out before him because he could see that there was tire tracks in the dew on the ground and they went down to our caravan where our tractor was stored and turned around and came back out. So no, that's concerning but um, nothing eventuated from it. Then I came out, was it two Fridays ago, so not last Friday, the Friday before and I was just here by myself changing my shoes from my work shoes to some old shoes and this car had driven down the driveway of our house here 
and pulled up at the end and I thought it must have been a contractor or someone coming out to do some work on the house and I didn't pay much attention to it until they started reversing back down the driveway and I'm thinking well obviously that person isn't supposed to be here are they and then last weekend we was out here it was the Sunday I think it was and this car came down the driveway and we're here with my family as well at that time and this car came down the driveway and turned around just at the end of our driveway and waved to us and then took off back down our driveway again. How rude is it for someone to be coming down your driveway and it's not like it's a short driveway, it's a hundred meters long so it's, it's dedication for you to actually drive down that driveway to start with or just nosiness in general and then waved to us and took off again. So we thought well obviously something's going on here where people think that they have a right or they have permission to be on our block of land. So we've gone out and purchased a, a gate now and we've put that gate down the end of the driveway and we've got this nice big dirty sign that said trespassers will be prosecuted. So we're hoping that this would stop those people thinking that they can just drive down our driveway for no apparent reason and um, keep them off. Obviously it's not going to stop those people who really need to be out here. Uh, this, it's pretty easy to get through the gate, you just got to lift the rope up. But it'll stop those people that are kind of on the fence about whether they should or not. So that was a bit disappointing. But anyway, that's all I've got for today. So thanks very much for joining us. If you do like our videos, make sure you're subscribed. Click that little bell icon and click that little thumbs up too. I really appreciate that. Thanks for your time. Have a good day.